Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our chest and tricep muscles. Going to start off with dynamic stretching, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, making sure I have the right mobility. Also, good to always start your workout with dynamic stretching. Gets your heartbeat up, takes your entire body to range of motion, gets you primed up properly for lifting weights and also helps you identify if there are any kind of restriction even before you start lifting the weights so that you can arrest them and don't cause any injuries during the lifting moment and more consistently you do this on a regular basis the more i would say free you feel i mean the restrictions start going away because of the regular dynamic stretching and post workout static stretching they will add up day by day consistently now, if you prefer, you can also do a five minute cardio session to get your heart beat up. Post completing greatest stretch, we sit in a deep squat, the usual mandatory deep squat, which I always do before the workout, no matter which body part I'm working on, sit in, sit in a deep squat for a few seconds and then we can start off. For my first exercise, I'm going to start with the incline bench press. That's the thing, I started with two warm up sets. What I'm showing you here is the working sets. So. Three working sets, 20 repetitions. So remember, the repetition is our target. So the weight has to be not so heavy that you're unable to achieve the repetitions. I was able to achieve those repetitions at a weight of 20 to 25 kilograms in each hand. So it might vary for you. But pretty simple exercise. Set your bench up at the first increment of the bench to set it up in an incline level. The first one itself is more than sufficient. And from there, you start pushing the weight up make sure you try to push your chest forward okay keep your elbows slightly closer to your body you don't want them beside your shoulders like you can see here they should be slightly tucked in and from there you have to remember you want to squeeze your chest so as you push forward you want to get your arms across each other not completely but basically trying to create as much squeeze in your chest as possible because we are trying to create that adduction so focus on that movement solely and you would get the most out of it remember this is a compound movement so there will be friend delts involved there will be tricep involvement you can't completely stop it but what you can do is try to focus as much as possible on the adduction of the chest now after completing the incline i moved on to flat bench press again here too i did three sets 20 repetitions yes i know lot of volume keeping the weight same but trying to get the repetitions in a controlled manner without taking much of a break keeping the break short 60 seconds so i just simply took off the increment down flat bench and started pressing up and here you can see how i was solely focusing on getting my chest as stretched as possible and then from there creating that adduction remember the job of your chest is to get your arms together closer or push so that's what we are trying to do here so once done with these two exercises basically similar movement similar compound movement but slightly different in terms of the way we angle ourselves but yeah mostly the result should be the same but high volume after completing the chest work we move on to our tricep work starting off with behind the head skull crushers you can also call them behind the head tricep extensions with the barbell multiple lanes but same exercise basically on the flat bench take a barbell easy bar was working really well for me because how i hold it so take the easy bar push it way behind your head create that stretch and your back as you can see here how my back is stretched out and my triceps are staying behind me and from there start throwing the bar into there not literally but theor uh, theoretically basically you're trying to push the bar as much high as possible creating elbow extension and maximum activation of your tricep i like this exercise because it trains my tricep in a stretched position and you hear you can clearly see how demanding my tricep is getting in terms of controlling the weight so when i get tired i just simply get up take a few seconds of break five to ten seconds and then go back to complete my repetitions now since it's a three set combo so you will start getting tired pretty quickly thanks to all the high amount of chest work we have done just before the exercise so there will be a little bit fatigue in your tricep but try to pull off those 20 repetitions as much as possible 
post completing those i decided to take a small break by break i mean i moved on to different muscle altogether that is seated calf raises here i am doing it on the leg extension machine because we don't have a seated calf raise machine so i'm using a leg extension uh, something which we call as jugard uh, to do the seated calf raises two sets 50 repetitions controlled manner with a short 45 to 60 seconds break in between now if you don't prefer to do it on a seated calf raise i like to mix it up sometimes i do seated sometimes i do standing but if you prefer to do some or the other you go ahead and do that but just try to get those 50 repetitions in a slow controlled manner always drop your heels as low as possible and always push your your heels as high as possible to go through the entire range of your calf muscle that is basically the stretch and the contractions now the slower you go the more effective it gets because less tendon involvement the faster you go it takes lot more repetitions for your calves to start getting fatigue so try to go slow and accumulate those repetitions now post completing the calf raises i moved on to chest flies feeling a little bit relaxed so let's begin with our chest flies three sets 20 repetitions if you remember i did this last time also wherein i positioned myself slightly higher on the uh, equipment basically not sitting down on the seat and resting my back on the uh, back rest just below my shoulder blades so that i get this incline effect and from there i start pushing my arms together basically bringing my arms together creating that adduction again and squeezing my chest in now this will slightly work the lower part of your chest lot more yes your entire chest would be working but you might start feeling a little bit of more tightness in the lower part because of the way we are angling ourselves as you can see how i sit sit if you are uncomfortable you can obviously do the regular ones but i would suggest to try this out it's just that you have to place the seat just under your shoulder blade so that your movement is not restricted you don't feel uneasy otherwise you should be able to pull it off very easily keep the weight in a controlled manner uh range because we want the repetitions not high high amount of weight and keep the break short so you will start burning out yourself now for the next exercise i am going to do a superset for the french press and push downs now you may prefer to do this separately i was running short on time so i i decided to superset it and try to hit fatigue as much as possible on my tricep muscles french press again great way to work out triceps in a stretch position i always prefer to uh, set the cable starting high just around my hip hips because anything lower makes you uncomfortable in terms of getting the rope up so set it up just around your hips or just above your hips and from there it will be easy to pick it up and simple just do elbow extensions into the air doing it with a rope gives you the natural a uh, range of motion for your body if you're doing it with a rod it keeps you restricted you might feel a little bit uncomfortable so i would suggest just do it with a rope and try to push the rope as high up as possible creating maximum amount of elbow extension and once done with those simply take the cable height all the way up and start with your rope push downs again with rope push downs try to keep the rope's path as straight as possible so that this there wouldn't be any loss of tension is just that you know a little bit better extension now you want to push it all the way down get maximum amount of elbow extension if that means a little bit of wrist rotation do that so that your triceps are getting burnt out as much as possible remember three sets 20 repetitions french press and failure number of repetitions for your push downs now here is the thing I wanted to finish off with a high and wanted to do few dips but I couldn't somehow manage even five dips because of the all the amount of volume we have put in today but if you want do try for at least three sets and that's it for today we are done with our exercising bit i'm going to finish off with a static stretch wherein i am holding small weight dumbbells and staying there in a stretched position basically in an abducted position wherein i'm completely taking my arms away from the midline of my body or away from my body and staying there for as long as possible 60 seconds is the target so don't take anything heavy It might cause stress start slow stay there get comfortable and if possible then go heavier but otherwise this should be a good way to finish off your workout thank you so much for watching if you did like the video and like the workout please do drop a like
If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback, please do drop a comment and I'll try to respond to it. There have been few and I'm very thankful for those. Now make sure you finish off with the static stretch because that's vital before after completing your workout. Once again, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. You have a good day.